Hello and welcome to Working with Presentations Part 2. In Part 1 of this series, I showed you how to create a simple presentation in Easy Worship. In this video, we'll go over some more advanced editing features for presentations. In Easy Worship, right click on your presentation and click Edit Presentation. Or click New Presentation if you're creating a new one. If you want to add elements, such as videos or images, to a slide, but you don't want it to be a background, click the Slides tab and select the slide you want to work with. Click Media and drag and drop your media file onto the slide on the right. You can resize the element to the size you want. If it's a video, you can double click it to preview the video. Let's go to another slide and add an element on top of the text. Click the slide and click Media. Drag and drop the element onto the slide on the right. Select the element and click the Arrange button and select Send to Back to move the element to the back of the text. Now we'll look at Inspector to change some other settings. Click Inspector in the top right corner. Under Info, you can enter a title, the author, the copyright, and an administrator. Now click Presentation. Here you can set the aspect ratio, however, Auto will use the resolution you have set in Windows for your presentation. If you want to loop your presentation, which we'll go ahead and do on this one, check the box to loop and we'll set the automatic advancement in a moment. If you have a presentation that you want to use the global settings, click Revert to Global. Under Slide, it shows the theme elements that are active for the current slide you're on. Under Background, you can change your fill style to Color, Gradient, or Media Fill. A media background will default to Repeating Background under Media Type. If you don't want your video background to loop, you can change this to Interactive Media. Under Transitions, you can set different slide transitions and the length of the transition. Since we're going to loop this presentation, we want to advance the slides automatically. We can set the setting here for each slide individually, but to set the same setting for all slides, click the Master Theme button at the bottom of the Slides tab and click on the Master Slide. Now change to Auto Advance in the Inspector and we'll set it to 5 seconds. You can make other global changes for the presentation or specific slide themes in this Master Theme view, like changing the background for Scripture slides or removing the bullets from your content slide, or whatever you would like to do. Click the Master Theme button to go back to the Slides tab. If you want to loop the selected slide only, you can check Loop Slide. To change the settings for an element, select an element you've added to your slide. Here you can check or uncheck Constrain Proportions to change the way the element is resized. You can also change the opacity of that element. You can add a fill, set a border, or change the shadow. There's also an option to give it a reflection. Just choose the reflection style and set the setting the way you want. An element also includes text boxes. Select a text box on the slide and click Text in Inspector to change the margins, the layout, the sizing, and formatting. Click Font to change the font type and size. You can change to use a point size instead of auto sizing your text. You can also set the text outline, shadow, and add or remove bullets or numbers. Click on a media element and click media. If the media type is set to interactive media, it's just an element on the slide. By changing it to repeating background, that element will loop as a background. You can also change the volume and opacity setting for that media file. When you're finished editing, you can click OK to save your presentation. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.